I'm going to create a copy protection logo, something like the one on the screen, but this arrow is not like the original one you'll see on DVD covers its simple Photoshop version. So I'll do File New, 500 by 500 pixels is a reasonable size, and I'll have to create a new layer. Now to draw the circle, I'm going to use a different technique than before. I'm going to use the Selection tool, the Elliptical Marquee tool, to select a circle, then use Fill around it. Later on, we'll use Masks, and it's a much more sophisticated technique than we've seen before. So Elliptical Marquee tool, to make it a perfect circle, instead of this, I hold down Shift. Now what I want to do is create a red fill around the outside, sorry, a red stroke. So I right click and select stroke, 10 pixels and red is fine. Now to make this selection disappear, I can press Ctrl D. And if I want to move the circle, I can select transform tool with transform controls and I can move the circle to wherever I would like it to be. So that's a circle with a clear background, so that looks fine. Now what I want to do is create a line that goes through it. So I'll select a new layer, and instead of the circle, I've right-clicked there, I'm going to select the sling Single Column Marquee Tool. So it's a single column. If I right-click on there, select Stroke again, it's going to be 10 pixels wide, and there's two problems. It needs to slant at about a 45 degree angle and it needs to go within the circle and not outside it. I'll do the first of those problems. Control D deselects. I think under the select tool we've got deselect. Now I want to make it a slant. I can use a transform tool. Make sure show transform controls is selected. I can move it. But if I press Control T, it allows me to select at the side and rotate it. There's an alternative to keyboard shortcuts, of course. I can go to Edit, Transform, Rotate. Pretty much the same thing. And around about 45 degrees, press Enter to confirm. It's on the layer. When I select a different layer, the lines around the outside disappear. That looks about right to me. Now what I want to do is select a layer mask that will be the shape of the circle. So I can use the magic wand tool. I select inside the circle, I have that layer selected. Probably for ease of use, I should at some point label these circle and line so I can see what I'm doing. So in the circle, I've got the inside of the circle selected. I now select the line and select layer mask tool. That makes everything outside the selection disappear. As you can see, there's a perfect circle as the layer mask. So that's worked pretty well. Now what I want to do is draw a couple of discs. So on this left hand side I can right click and select ellipse tool. Again I'll need to hold shift to make it a perfect circle and it's going to be a black coloured disc. So at the top I can choose the colour, I hold shift and create the circle. To move it I can select the transform tool at the top left hand corner it should be a little bigger than that. It should just go over the halfway point. And on the original picture, then it goes behind this circle. So I just dragged and dropped with the layers there. So I dragged it behind the circle. Now it is a little disc, and to signify that it's got a white circle in the middle. So as we've done on previous videos, what I'm going to do is create a circle hold down shift and I can use the keys if I choose a transform tool to try and position it right in the middle. And that would be a good time to name this. Okay. And there's a greyer disk in the background, what I can do is simply press shift to select the two layers, right click duplicate, and then I can just move them to the other place. Of course they're currently the wrong colour. So instead of the black disk, and here is the colour, you can double click on there, 
and select the grey. But the black disc should be in front of the grey disc, so predictably, I just drag it in front of the grey one, and I'll need the small white disc to go in front of it. And I'll rename these so it's easier to deal with later. I've slipped there, I need to click right on the writing. And it's not a copy anymore, that's an original. A finishing touch is going to be an arrow. So I can create a new layer, and down the left hand side under shapes, I can choose a custom shape. And at the top, I can choose an arrow. I want it to be quite long. It's already white color, that's good. I want it to point down here. So predictably enough, I could go to Edit, Transform. But instead, I can go to the side and rotate. Looks a little big, so I can make it a little bit smaller. Probably not going to get this to line up quite perfectly. If I had more time, I probably would be able to. I want it to go behind the white line, sorry, red line there, so it goes behind them. And I want to have a fill line around it, a stroke line. I double click on the shape, it brings up this. I want there to be a stroke, I want it to be black, maybe about size 3. There oh, that's a stroke, it's not applied the fill. Oh, sorry, it is the stroke. Yes, that's about right. So therefore, the arrow goes from one to the other. And that's not a bad version of the